Hi guys. The sports car to rally car movement has reached its peak as big automakers like Lamborghini and Porsche launch off-road supercars. Looks like they want Safari in all the things. And here is the original 2023 Porsche 911 Dakar from the factory. This limited edition 911 variant borrows parts from the GT3 and Turbo S, but its off-road chops have roots in Porsche's rally racing past. You may still remember the Paris Dakar Rally in 1984, an extreme off-road race in which Porsche took the lead on the podium. The 911 Dakar is essentially a Carrera 4 GTS Coupe modified for rally duty. Fit seriously tough off-road tires and give it a sturdy rally raid makeover so it lives up to the Dakar name. Don't be fooled by its dusty appearance. The 911 Dakar is a plaything flex for the wealthy because there will only be 2,500 monster cars produced worldwide. It will certainly smooth out the potholes on the interstate highway, but for the daring, it will also be good fun on back roads and in the dunes. The Dakar seems to be everything customers wanted in a rally-inspired 911. The Porsche has set up the lift system to allow the 911 Dakar to ride at its maximum height at speeds up to 105 miles per hour. Set the car to its new off-road driving mode and it automatically increases the suspension height by 2 inches, increasing ground clearance by 1.2 inches. The Dune Beast is also equipped with a 473 horsepower twin turbo, 3 liter flat 6 engine and 420 pound-feet of torque all-wheel drive via an 8-speed PDK gearbox. The Dakar as the first two-door sports car to offer outstanding off-road capabilities. With the ability to launch from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds and drive across the desert with a top speed of 149 miles per hour. Sure, many other Porsche 911 variants are faster, but none will be faster off pavement. General Motors Chevrolet division just dropped a blockbuster for 2024. Exactly 70 years after the Corvette debuted at Motorama in New York City, Chevrolet has returned to introduce the first ever electrified Corvette with all-wheel drive and a powerful 6.2 liter LT2 small block V8, the 2024 Corvette E-Ray. It's a very useful sports car at the fraction of the price of Ferrari and McLaren and half of what a Porsche 911 GT3 RS costs. The E-Ray's wide body styling essentially mirrors the 2023 Corvette Z06 with a couple of minor alterations. The carbon fiber, five-spoke wheel design is exclusive to E-Ray, but outside of that and subtle E-Ray badges on the lower body sides, it's mostly indistinguishable from its Z06 sibling. If you're a staunch Chevrolet Corvette traditionalist, the last few years may have had you clutching your gold chains. Part electric and part V8, the new Corvette E-Ray's powertrain may have a split personality. The E-Ray's 160 horses front-mounted electric motor and 495 horses mid-mounted 6.2 liter V8 combine for 655 horses. In stealth mode, the hybrid Corvette emits a futuristic hum for safety reasons and probably because it sounds cool. Even when the vociferous V8 gets involved, 
the two sounds merge to create a raucous sci-fi melody inside the cabin. Clearly, the EVET's intention is not to pursue the trendiest new technology. The hybrid all-wheel drive variant is designed to do what the best Corvettes have always done, take performance to the next level. There are a lot of best firsts here. First all-wheel drive VET, first hybrid, first with carbon ceramic brakes and all-season tires standard. The 2.5 second sprint to 60 miles per hour makes the E-Ray the fastest Corvette ever. In the racing and off-road world of the foolhardy mad guys on the planet, Audi is one of the best top names out there. Although the German automaker has become the star of the fiercest Dakar rally, its all-electric Audi RSQ e-tron still amazes everyone when it launches in July 2021. Now though, they are ready for the next step. Given Audi's terrible reputation for rallying, you might not realize that 2023 is only the second year the German automaker has participated in the tough Dakar event as a factory team. Now though, with a massively updated car, Audi aims for nothing less than victory. The RSQ e-tron basically broke new ground for the acclaimed rallying challenge. And the car that would bring Home, the win is the wild Audi RS Q e-tron E2. your opinion on rally cars, Audi's RSQ e-tron E2 is a beast in every single way. This is the new and improved version of Audi's RSQ e-tron Rally Raider. Audi saw this as a perfect opportunity to combine its Quattro all-wheel drive technology with its e-tron electric powertrain platform. And the fact that it's beating gas-powered vehicles in the blazing hot desert is even better. The Audi RSQ e-tron E2 does not adopt a single body part from its predecessor. In order to comply with the prescribed interior dimensions, 
The cockpit, which was previously narrowly recessed towards the roof, is now significantly wider. The front and rear hoods have also been redesigned. This is accompanied by the lowering of the vehicle's center of gravity. Building on the lessons learned from the semi-successful Dakar 2022 Audi and victory in the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge, the E2 promises better efficiency and less weight as it heads into battle with the dunes and other cars. Hi guys. It's hard to say no to a huge muscular pickup. For over a decade, Ram's Power Wagon has served as the brand's burly off-road king. However, potential customers wanted even more from a heavy-duty off-road pickup. Instead of just shoving the diesel into an existing power wagon and calling it a day, Ram instead carved out an additional off-road niche. It's the Ram 2500 Rebel production version of 2003. The new truck is an answer to customer requests for an off-road capable truck that can tow more than the power wagon does. Ram used the power wagon's template as a starting point in creating the Rebel. Every Ram 2500 Rebel has a standard 6.4 liter Hemi V8 engine delivering 429 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque, matched with an 8-speed automatic transmission. However, unlike the Power Wagon, the Ram 2500 Rebel is also available with the option of a 6.7-liter Cummins diesel engine that produces 370 horsepower and 850 pound-feet of torque. The new car makes do without the power wagon's disconnecting anti-roll bar, sacrificing a measure of front wheel travel in exchange for a more rigid setup. Skid plates are on hand to protect the fuel tank and transfer case. But key differences between the two will determine which line you'll take off-road. And whereas the power wagon has locking differentials at each end, only the rear axle is lockable on the Rebel. It has all the attributes of a regular heavy-duty truck, towing and payload capabilities, and combined with the excellent off-road capability of the Power Wagon. Lamborghini sports car with the broader trace of SUVs? Well, the crazy, lavish Italian car manufacturer seems to know your prayers. And here's the Huracan Sterato. It is a wild tractor version of the Lamborghini Huracan with V10 power, designed to tackle rough terrain. This is the third off-road car to come from the brand, following the brutalist LM002 of the mid-1980s and today's Urus SUV. Lamborghini has equipped the Huracan Sterato with the standard models, 5.2-liter naturally aspirated V10 engine, 610 horsepower. It comes paired with a 7-speed DCT automatic, likely having shorter gear rationals 
even the Sterrado's purpose, to drive all four wheels. This Dorado can go from 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.4 seconds, while the regular Huracan takes 2.9 seconds. This Dorado's top speed is 260 km per hour, whereas the Huracan EVO can do 325 km per hour max. The difference is that this one can do those speeds of the tarmac too. Like a few of its peers, the Italian manufacturer is rushing to embrace electrification, engaging in a bit of food dragging and hand waving, mumbling about things like clean fields. You may remember Porsche unveiling the new 911 Dakar inspired by the SC Safari in recent weeks. There's a little else out there to rival Lamborghini's new creation. The off-roader iteration of the sports car is the last pure ICE model from Lamborghini, with all future models to feature some degree of electrification. Production will start from February 2023, and only 1,499 Storados are planned, making it rarer than the 911 Dakar. Now is the 2022 and we've seen a series of once broken speed barriers as supercars approach the 500 km per hour threshold. Welcome to the hypercar collection at a great level. You know, we don't want to number before and after because all of these cars are great. Pick it at random. The car you're seeing is the Aston Martin Valkyrie, which was born in a partnership between the British sports brand and the F1 team Red Bull Racing. Valkyrie is designed not to compete for speed with brutal opponents, but to create a beautiful moving machine. However, a 1,160-horsepower hybrid powertrain, including a naturally charged V12 engine, with revs of up to 11,000 revolutions per minute and an electric motor assist helps the hover car accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 2.5 seconds before reaching at a top speed of more than 400 km per hour. You can own it if you have enough $3 million. Of course, you need to have a bit of luck. This all-electric timeless machine is the Rheinmac Nevera. This electric monster is the product of electric car company Rheinmac, which was just acquired Bugatti. Nevera, which is considered the typical high-performance representative of the electric vehicle generation, it owns four combined electric motors that deliver 1,914 horsepower with a maximum torque of 2,359 newton meters. Acceleration time from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 1.97 seconds before reaching a top speed of 415 km per hour. With a bargain price of $2.5 million, you can completely own this friendly beast. The Hennessy Venom F5 is the United States of America. Auto industries claim that speed is not a product exclusive of European automakers. Venom F5 is equipped with a 6.6-liter V5 engine, producing extremely powerful power of 1,817 horsepower, more than 1,600 newton meters of torque. The beast's tremendous power allows it to accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.4 seconds before reaching a top speed of 500 km per hour. Despite its modest price tag at just $1.8 million compared to its European rivals, the Venom F5 attracts collectors thanks to its rarity, with only 24 cars changed.
Koenigsegg is not only a symbol of Swedish automotive industry, it is also an inspiration for four-wheeled engineering enthusiasts around the globe. The Jesko Absolute is considered the fastest commercial car today. It feels very natural to drive. It is very responsive and behaves exactly the way you would want it to. Power comes from 5.0 liter twin turbocharged V8, capable of revving to 8,500 revolutions per minute, deliver 1,600 horsepower and over 1,490 newton meters of torque. While the 9 speed gearbox will be the fastest shifting in the world, allowing the Jesco Absolute to reach an unheard of top speed, easily breaking the 530 km per hour threshold on the actual test track at Erelesien in Germany. Well, it's possible to own this hypercar if you have enough $2.8 million. The Mercedes AMG One is in fact the embodiment of F1 racing technologies on a commercial model. High performance engineers spent five years delivering on their promise. The Beast all wheel drive machine has an extremely complicated combustion engine that revs up to 11,000 revolutions per minute. The high performance heart of the hypercar is a turbocharged four cylinder engine with a capacity of just 1.6 liter. But when combined with three electric motors for a total power of more than 1,063 horsepower, Mercedes has taken its AMG1 hypercar to Norshalif and left with the record for road legal production cars. Shiran Super Sport 300 Plus considered a muscular member of the hypercar world. It owns a huge 16 watt engine with a capacity of 8 liter for up to 1,600 horsepower. Only 30 units of the Shiran Super Sport 300 Plus would be built at Bubati's Atelier in Mosham. Even with the full $3.9 million, you definitely won't be able to own this amazing hypercar. I'm sorry, for they all already have owners.